Morning, Trudy. I'm just looking through here. I've misplaced a background. It must be here somewhere. Ugh. I could find anything in my room. It would be amazing. Such a tip. Oh, well. That's the, that's the one I wanted as well. Oh, well. Hi Marion, hi Judy. Where on earth have I put that stamp? It's on a block somewhere, I know it is. It's drying somewhere. Hmm. I don't know why I'm looking in the same places because it's clearly not on my desk. Well, it probably is, but it's underneath a pile of stuff. Right, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Honestly, Trudy, if you saw my room, it's an absolute disgrace. My son came in and chucked my um, my fire stick remote at, at the back of the bed that there is in here. And fortunately, it didn't go down the side of the bed because otherwise it would have taken me hours to move stuff to get it out. Absolute nightmare. Hi, Margaret. So, it's a very exciting day today. Isn't it, Trudy? Really, really exciting. We're all really, really, really happy about this because this is Trudy's new collection, the Fashionista collection. Morning, Heather. Morning, June. Morning, Vivian. Morning, everybody. So, uh, without further ado, let's kind of just work through the collection. I was going to do it in some sort of order, but clearly that's not going to happen. She says, rummaging through. Am I one missing? One, two, three, four. I'm one missing. One, two, three, four. Oh, for heaven's sake. This is going to drive me nuts. Where I've obviously put my background stamp. Ah, no. And another stamp somewhere. Right, I oh, will just have to press on. Why didn't I check? Right, okay. So, Fashion Easter collection. One, two, three, four. No, I've got them all. I'm going mad, absolutely balmy. That one goes in there. Right, so we've got um, obviously Passionista. Trudy's hand drawn all these and they're DL size stamps, a bit bigger than they look on the packaging, as always. And um, I think Phil's done them. There's lots of sentiments to go with them as well. Um, and obviously, because there's lots of sentiments, you can mix and match those, um, which I'll show you on how to make backgrounds. So we've got Pretty Young Thing. Um, there's kind of, um, when we do the one day special uh, later on at six, there'll be, um, morning everybody, so I'm just reading. Um, there'll be two kind of mini bundles and then there's the one day special bundle. Um, but obviously on my website and Phil's website, you can just buy them individually and I, I'm not sure how the things are going to work because we're not going to be there. Anyway, so we've got kind of like four that are kind of more aimed at the youngsters and then four that are a bit older. And then outside of the one day special, we've got the bride and groom set. So you've got Pretty Young Thing. Then we've got a modern man who's really cool. Uh, lots of cool sentiments to go with him. I haven't put him back on my sheet properly. Um, so he's he's he, I think he's he's proving quite popular this morning already. Uh, this guy is the most popular. This is Trendsetter. He's really cool and I love all the sentiments and the fonts that there are that go with him. Morning, Karen. Uh, she's really lovely too. And it's interesting because um, when, when I've coloured her in, I thought she'd got kind of like boots on. 
so um that section there uh, i just made them like you know ugg boots or things like that um but when trudy's colored it in she's obviously drawn it she knows where it's supposed to be these are the turn-ups for the trousers and then she's got skin showing there and then like little plimsolls but obviously it doesn't really matter you can color them in however you want to so that I think that's the setup of one bundle. I haven't checked, but I think that's the setup of one bundle. And then uh, we, we're going a little bit slightly older here. So we've got kind of dreamy elegance, which she, and she's kind of more um i think for prom she'd be great for prom or an 18th or a 21st that sort of thing as always lots and lots of sentiments there's no replication on the words throughout all of the sets um they're very sketchy style so um as trudy's saying here they can be whatever you want it to be so it, that's really cool isn't it um Oh yeah, Joanne. Joanne, your your samples are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, Trudy and and jo it's a bit funny because when you see other people's samples, it's like I wish I'd have done it like that, and that's so cool. And it's I used to get that when I was beading as well. I'd look at other people's colours and I'd think, oh, I wish I'd have done it in that colour as well. So you you're always that you're worth critic, aren't you? Anyway, uh, uh, in this bundle, we've got one chappy and he's your sharp dress, dressed man. So he's he's kind of your, I suppose, your young executive kind of feel to him. He's got a very long jacket, um, which I suppose is trendy. Um, I don't know. It's been a while since um, since I've been in the, in the business world like that. But anyway, he's really cool. Then you've got fashionista baby um and she's um she she's she's very chic um very elegant lady um again she can be as young or as old as you want her to be and then we've got boho chic and and she um you can't see there but she's got no shoes on so um she's she's um she's very um elegant and when i've colored her in and when phil's colored her in we've made the whole body complete but i noticed when trudy colored her in she's given her, her so her tummy's exposed so again you can do it however you want it morning my lovely morning paula morning maureen miss you paula um so, so that's that's another set and then like i say aside from that We've got the beautiful bride, and she's obviously very elegant. You can because we've done them separately. It means that you can do bride and bride if you want to, or you can just have the bride on on a stamp set. Um, so so that's her, and then you've also got the gorgeous groom. Again, you can have two grooms if you want to, whatever you want. And, and the Mr. and Mrs. here are separate words, so you can actually do your whatever you want. Uh, I didn't, you know, when, you probably don't realise, but when we're prepping, there isn't an awful lot of time to think, especially as I have to get videos over to the studios quite early now. I had to get my videos ready for last Monday, this Monday just gone. So I didn't actually kind of think about, when I put them on together, uh, my sample, they're actually not touching, but you can actually do them. So if you stamp... Um, the bride first and then if you do a mask of her and you only need to just do a uh, cut out this part of the mask pop that on and then you can pop the groom so he's really standing right with her rather than next to her which is what i did so have a think about that and, and perhaps do that if you're doing a bride and groom it will look better than the one that i've done but anyhow those are all the stamps so there's 10 dl stamp sets there are also three backgrounds, <laughs> but I've only got two here. Goodness knows what I've done with it. Like I can say it's on a block somewhere. Goodness knows where it is. I'm looking around my room and I don't know why I am because I can't find it. So we've got um, Woolly Knits. We've got Wonderful Weave um, and we've also got Lovely Lace Work. So I do have them stamped out here. This is your... Um, uh, wonderful weave and this has been stamped with an oxide and then um, not very well there and then uh, some of the twinkling uh, embossing powder put on and you can replicate them as well don't worry about lining them up perfectly it doesn't really matter this is your lovely like lace work which is a little bit distressed because I've I've misted the um, the oxide uh, with water as well but it's a really really lovely background and this is your um, woolly knit uh, you can see that's missed there because I didn't line it up properly. 
it doesn't matter you can stick a sentiment over there you can stick, stick somebody's leg over there you can stick one of the stitching borders over there don't stress it's absolutely fine i did it a bit better there actually that's on a video so i hope they showed that because that was the success uh and then we've got another kind of uh, lovely lace work there so there's three backgrounds and they're in rubber and they're all a6 and they're all uh, um, scrolled all ready for you to uh, pop onto your block wherever my block might be and then finally we've got an addition to the borders uh, set that Trudy's started to do this is your stitching borders and we didn't get this till quite late I know Trudy only got hers day before yesterday I got mine on Saturday so there aren't that many samples with these but they are really really um, useful you can see they are the length of a, an A5 sheet more or less um, really cool borders great backgrounds um, yeah 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 you have I will share your um, wedding card uh, Trudy when, when when we come off air right okay so that's all the new stamps that are on the show obviously I haven't got all my samples to show you because I sent them off to uh, Hochanda on Tuesday but I have since then made some more, just a few, only four. Um, so anybody that came into my Facebook Live on um, Monday and Tuesday morning will have seen me make this background here. And I just had to use it. Um, it's it's to recap it's some um, indigo blue slap it on super thick which is a clear texture paste uh, mixed with some indigo blue uh, unicorn sparkles which is an iridescent glitter uh, you could use also use um, uh, Phil's rainbow sparkles I think it's called the the, the um, sparkle dust uh, so you could use that uh, mix it in loads of it and then uh, while the mask was still in place this is the, the layered scales um, mask from Trudy um, while it's still in place and I sprinkled some luscious over and set it to dry and it's on acetate um, so I've just framed that and around the outside we've got that lovely lace work um, what's it called background stamp uh, we've got the rounded corner rectangles on here uh, we've got boho chic I did actually make a mistake colouring her in but I'm not going to point it out to you because you'll then only see it um, I've also used the lovely lace work my remainder of my ink that I'd got left on here I've stamped and I've cut out my romantic flowers um, with that as well so so that's one uh, I've also used this this is a um, waste ink that I had on my wonderful weave so I've just misted it with water it's broken china uh, and it's on a piece of Bockingford card I've stamped a few of the sentiments from the dreamy elegance around the outside and popped her on that's a really quick and easy card. Phil would say, where are the flowers? But, you know, they don't all need flowers because the images are beautiful as they are. That's a simple one. Then I've got this one. This is the last one I did. I did this one last night. Um, so this is using the stitching borders. And I, do, I did something like I did with the Indigo Blue uh, when I did my Facebook Live on Monday. Um and the, I've used the lace stitching border here, this one, and I've just stamped it um, top and bottom, kind of alternating, tried to line it up, but you can see I've disguised where I haven't lined it up brilliantly with this stitching border here. And this is stamped with Age Mahogany um, Distress Oxide, and I've brushed some of the Indigo Blue um, Luscious Magic Sparkle over the top so I'll give that a little wiggle so you might be able to see that it's got a little bit of sparkle to it and once I've, I've put the luscious on I've just misted it with water and set it aside to dry then I've stamped my uh, extra borders in with Versafine Claire and we've got Fashionista Baby on the top here coloured with the watercolour blonding brush pen set too and we've got some romantic flowers here I've stamped these with the um, Age Mahogany Distress Oxide and embossed with the clear, super clear embossing powder and I've coloured them uh, with the um, uh, blending brush pens with these two colours 
uh, again. Uh, but this is on Almond Hue card, which doesn't actually blend as well as you would do if you're Bockingford. I kind of change my mind when I do things and I don't always know what I'm going to do. Um, so in hindsight, I would have used Bockingford, but it's okay. It's, work, it's worked okay. Um, they look quite cool. So that's that one. And then we're going to just we're going to do this one um i'm going to show you how to make this which is a really really quick and it's not really really quick because you've got to do the color in but quite a quick um card to make um just a little bit of a different kind of background because we've got split in the background and we've got man about town here um and and we're going to be using some of the sentiments from that set and also from trendsetter set so those are the four that I've managed to do since I sent my samples off because I've got other work to do as well. Um, so let's see. So I've got my trendsetter chappy. He's already nearly finished colouring in. So I'm going to finish doing him. And um, Trudy, don't watch this bit. Because <laughs> uh, cause, cause, cause I, I can't colour in like you can. So but I'm going to very, very simply do it. And it's quite interesting because you can get if you look at him here, you can get a tremendous depth of colour with the pens if you let it dry. So you, you apply some, uh, move it around with your, your watercolour brush, let it dry and then put a second coat on. And you can get, I mean, that, that's the same colour as this and it's the same colour as this. And I've used three different techniques for applying the colour there, but they are all the same pen. Really cool. So this is the olive green that's in the set. And my way of colouring in uh, is really basic because most of the time I don't actually have time. It is quite nice to actually spend a bit of time colouring in though, having said that. And I tend to go just around the edges because I figure there might be shadow there. I don't know. I'd kind of just make it up and if it looks all right, I'm happy with it. I haven't got time to stress about how well I colour in really. These, these are like um, strings, I reckon. You know that you'd have on a hoodie and you've got a little bit there and then we're going to go quite dark with this section here because it's the bottom of his um, hoodie and we just go just on a little bit over there like that. I'm not going to worry about cut cutting that out you can do with the craft knife but I, I've, I can't be bothered um, I've cut a little bit out. My craft knife skills aren't too brilliant, but you know, you, you kind of get just, you, if people are looking that closely at the card, then they don't deserve one really, do they? And you want a water brush, get it going, and then just move the color around. So you just, I'm just picking up color from, from the edge bits. And because it's on Bockingford card from Pink Ink, it kind of moves to it. And that'll do. So that's all you need to do. Now, if you want a depth of colour, then you just add, wait for it to dry, add more pen, and you, then you can um, draw it in. Now I like stamps that don't need uh, don't you don't have to stress over. I'm very happy with that. So that's my mud chappy. Obviously I've cut him out by hand. I know that uh, Trudy's got a scan and cut, so you can actually uh, scan the images up and uh, in, and you're absolutely fine cutting them out using that. Um, I've got space for one of those anyway. So I'm going to put him to one side, and I'm using papers from two of the paper packs that are on the show. This one is from the, uh, is that stuck? No, it's not good. I thought I'd stuck it down and straight. <laughs> this is from the Air Force and Mocha set, and this is from the Bluebell and Sage set. So um, what you might want to do is not actually cut it before you do this, but I have done. Um, and there's like pros and cons for, for doing it either way. And so, so this will go on here and it will go on with a gap like that now if you don't want to stamp a background you could just put it on like that it would be absolutely fine but I'm going to stamp a background put that one to one side so now I need to kind of mold them together and it was quite handy actually having the split because as you might be able to see when I grab my 
stamp press I've got one of the sentiments going in a diagonal here so that will run down my split in my lines so we're going to ink this, these up and these are the sentiments from the man about town and also from trendsetter and I'm going to use faded jeans and bundled sage because I think those are going to fit with my papers nicely but he does look a bit like Prince Harry doesn't he Maybe Trudy will tell us if he's modelled on anybody. He's, he's, he's very trendy, isn't it? My son was 24 this week. Uh, when, when was he 24? Tuesday. But um, he, doesn't, he doesn't like birthdays, so um, he was more than happy not to get a birthday card. Look at that. That's fine. <laughs> a bit more. I don't know how much I've done. No idea. I think it's going to be mostly blue. Let's have a bit more green. All random-ish. Okay, so now we want to make sure that these are lined up. And we can grab this. And you can get, um, after you've stamped this, you can get a second background out of this. My squeaky desk. You can hear this on all the videos as well. <laughs> doesn't have to be perfect although I do tend to press down an awful lot and there's a background now if you miss that with water then you can get another background out of it let's see if I can find my background this is the one I did originally this is mopped up ink so but I've missed it with water and I've got a this is in a per journal page I've done the same thing with the um the words from the, some of the girly ones as well so um there's two backgrounds ready to go in my journal so we can now let's just ink around the edges need a bit of faded jeans just to accentuate. Now remember this, this, this goes to everywhere. Um, this will stay wet for a little while. So just be careful when you're putting your fingers around your background. This will just accentuate the edges. Morning Marie, how are you my darling? So that'll just, that'll just show off the gap a little bit better and it'll look more finished. This is, this is actually, besides your colouring, I mean, I was colouring before we came onto uh, the live because um, it, it, is, it is very relaxing. It's not relaxing when you've got a bit of a deadline, but um, it is quite a relaxing thing to do. I love that urban style um, sentiment. That's my edging done and we can pop this on I'm just gonna always black makes everything pop I mean we could edge that but I don't know if, is it, if it's gonna show let's just do it anyway it's not really showing is it now I've started I'll have to if there's any white edges on your paper it does hide that though Working at home. We're all working at home, aren't we? Well, we should be. I'm used to doing this anyway. Good, good job me and my son get on all quite well. Otherwise, I think he'd be driving me nuts. He does drive me nuts, though, when he does throw my controllers over the other side of the room. That's really annoying. <laughs> A little bit extra blue there. Let's get rid of that. I'm hoping to cut my lawn this afternoon. Right, there we go. I think that's straightish. And then we're going to position that so I know where to put the other one. See if I can get this straight. Tea break. <laughs> Actually, I think I think that um, there's this thing is isn't there about working from home? I think if you, I think you end up working more at home than you do if you were out and about because 
uh, you can't get away from it. It's it's just there all the time. I mean, it is for me anyway. Obviously, I'm using Phil's glue. Don't put too much on. We are dealing with papers here. It's 190 GSM, the papers. Let's have a look. That's going to go here. See if I can get it straight ish. There we go. Okay, so that's him, them, that. And although my, my original one, let's grab it again, he's here. I'm going to actually have him here instead because he's facing the other way. So he's going to go there and we'll pull out a sentiment. Need a sentiment. Find the set. Near the bottom, probably. Uh, don't want one of his. I'm going to have one, uh, one from Man About Town. So I want that fashion guru. Now, what have I done with that? Oh, yes, I know. It's on there anyway, isn't it? It's on my block. So let's just pull that off. Fashion Guru, that's the one I want. And as it's already quite dirty, shall I do it in those colours? Let's do it in the colours that we had originally. I've got a double debossed, a rounded corner um, jobby. Around the corner square. So we'll put some of the bundled sage on first. And we'll add a bit of the baked jeans on top. And it just about fits in my square. Squeaky desk. There we go. Not bad. And I'm going to just edge that with the faded jeans so it, it highlights it. And it makes it stand out from the... So that can go over that there. If I want it to, which I probably do. Let's get some pads and get these this chappy on. Oh, thanks, Jean. I like doing them too as well. It, it's actually, I think, probably for for us, it, it's it's um, it kind of makes us feel a bit less remote from you because obviously, because we're not going in the studios, we're not getting the kind of feedback we'd normally get when we were there. So doing the videos, uh, doing the videos does actually kind of help us out a little bit. I think. I can't like, I do I do quite like doing them actually. Although when I've got ninety seven million other things to do, it's a little bit let's put some on his shoes. Yeah, he's not got socks on this one. I don't think he has anyway. But like Trudy says, you can do whatever you want. And a little bit on his head because we don't want his head floating around. These are indigo blue pads and the backs come off really easy. Sometimes too easy. Mm -mm -mm. It's going to be warm again today. It is here anyway. Right, so he's going to go. He's so cool. He's going to go there. And then we just put our sentiment on. I will give you a few more ideas of what, because I've got so many ideas to do with these stamps. That happen because I haven't got time. So that's going to go there. So there we go. So that's that's, that's quite it's quite quick. It, it, it makes a difference when you put not putting ninety seven million flowers on your card. So there's the two versions with the two lovely trendy chappies that there are in the kit. There are some older men. There are there are not really old, but there are yeah they're not old old old. But they, like the the trendsetter chappy, not trend sharp dressed man. 
he can be older. Let me grab him. He's just very smart. You don't want somebody in a cardigan, do you, Marie? So he could be older, couldn't he? But obviously not, um, not old, old. Right, let's do some little kind of t tips and things as well. Right, so the stitching borders, I've started doing um, some uh, stamping here. So obviously here I've used that one and I've used that one, that one and that one. I've put them all onto a, a, one of the long blocks and um, just repeat stamped and this is onto the air force and mocha card and i've started to color the bu buttons in i'm not going to uh, continue to do it because it takes a little let me just do one and i'll show you because it takes a little while to do these i'm going to do that one in that color and this one in this so what you want to do is you want to have on on your blending mat some of your pen because it, it's not watercolor card so where's my water brush gone there it is it's not watercolour card, so it doesn't move around like you'd want it to on watercolour. I'm not, I don't want to do that one. I'm going to do this one. There we go. Getting carried away. This is that olive green colour again. So what you want to do is pick some up onto your water brush. Because you can't move that around. So you have to add more colour to it in order to colour it in. And that's how you do your buttons. And then they dry like that. They do continue to dry, okay? So this is my background. Now, when I, I've done a video, now I don't know how many videos they're going to do. I've done six dem separate demonstrations for the one day special. And I did, I've done two triptychs and you will see them in the album that I've done. Uh, I've, uh, on, on my uh, page and on Phil's page, there's albums with the samples from the shows. And my triptych was like three that way and then a sentiment. And I've done one for the girl. Like I said, I've done one for the girls as well. But you can, to play around with them as well, I thought we'd do something different like this. And so I've already got a couple of chappies here already done and to do to do these you just stamp your image i haven't colored actually i haven't colored in his ear that's going to just wind me up let me just color in his ear this is this is antique linen because i'm really lazy i can't be bothered to cook to mix to to blend the skin colors down low so i'm just using antique linen distress so using your um your rectangles cut two adjacent ones and you with the smaller one you draw around the outside of the die and that will be in between this size and that size so that gives you a guide about how much you need to color in then you need to cut them out a little bit bigger than your, your line so that you've got something for your image to stick to there's no point coloring it all in like I say because you're not you don't you're not using it all so that's a little bit bigger check it's not too big nope that's fine and unfortunately it's legs now I mean you could do do you remember that that thing there used to be a game years ago where you used to have a book and you used to have a book which had legs bodies and heads and they were separate and then you'd, you'd kind of flick pages over and you put different heads of different bodies and some of them were like animals and things like that. You could do a similar sort of thing for this with the kids if you've got one, especially if you've got, if you've got um, is it a bind it all, that, um, yeah, that would be really cool. So I'm just going to just glue my other rectangle on here. I know we're, we're doing boys. I've got, I haven't got any girls coloured in, but I, I've got some ideas for the girls besides the ones that, I've just shown you with the finished samples. So obviously you need to have your glue quite close to the edge. And then let's just see if I can get him on there. And then he's going on there. You could put um, really thin foam on there, but this is easier. Check I'm not too gluey. Right, so obviously, like I say, with the triptych, what I had was um, the three fellas like that. And then uh, I've got a sentiment panel somewhere. We'd have to just have a, a square one for now. I don't know where it is. Then, then pretend we've got a rectangular uh, sentiment there. But what you could do also as a different layout is, I mean, you could just have one on there 
and a sentiment. Right, it's a smaller card, but that could be a card, okay? Or what you could do is perhaps stagger them so that they're perhaps, I don't know, like, like that. And then a sentiment there, and that'd be another layout. Just as an idea, layout idea. I've lost my... I'll get rid of that, sorry. So so that that's a couple of ideas with kind of triptych kind of thing. That's that. That's what I wanted to show you. Obviously, um, you can use your backgrounds as well. I was, I was going to show you how, uh, what he, uh, the trendsetter looked like on here, but I forgot. Right. Also, do you remember, um, again, going back to early, I've got so many backgrounds lying around. So many, many, many people. Uh, so many, um, so I'm reading that. Um, so many backgrounds lying around. This is one that um, was from the Indigo Blue Facebook Live. And this is Mode Lawn Distress uh, uh, ink mixed with some of that magic sparkle and uh, it's just stuff that's mocked up and in the background there's um, some of the slap it on that was dry through a stencil and it's a bit of a resist but look how cool that the pretty long young thing would look on there obviously she's not coloured in I mean you could add uh, let's have a look you could add a little bit of stamping in here as well into your background so if we go for mustard seed and i'll grab the um the wonderful uh weave and we could add a little bit of stamping in here i mean obviously this will be um trimmed down let's have a little bit in the middle so then and then if she's if she's colored in in um green and yellow say then she's going to look really cool on that particular panel isn't she so so that's an idea with her I've also got again going back to my face at Facebook live I mean, I'm just get, I get fed up of not using all my backgrounds I've got so many lying around um, this is your fashion victim and this was the um, true grit um, uh, texture paste mixed with some luscious I think it's the teal and then while it was the stencil was still in splat in um place this is an indigo blue stencil i sprinkled green luscious powder over and it, it's now dry so fashion victim how cool is she going to look on there with that don't worry about the fact that this is all white and she's kind of creamy this is the bockingford card once she's colored in you won't actually see any of that and i've actually cut away that center there but i think you know just a sentiment on there she's going to look absolutely fab on there as well so um that's that is there any more i want to show you i don't think there is actually i think that might be it for now how rude I think that's all I've got prepped. So uh, I, th I think that's it actually. <laughs> I thought I'd take longer than that. Um, so um, yes, yes, policemen and firemen. Yeah, there used to be loads of different things, didn't there? It was really cool, wasn't it? So um, yeah, so join us at six o'clock for the launch. I'm going to bring this one in again for the launch um, of the fantastic one day special of the fashionista collection from Trudy um, on her chanda um, I've done videos and I believe I'm going to be um, called up and uh, being called in um, you know speaking over over the over the phone um, I don't know who the presenter is I've no idea um, then uh, Phil is doing a Facebook Live tomorrow morning on his Sentimentally Yours Facebook page at 11am. I imagine that'll be an hour or so. <laughs> I've no idea how long he's going to do, it's going to be. Uh, yeah, so he's he's going to do that. And um, the stamps are out now. Um, they are available on my website, uh, juliewattscrafts.co.uk, and you, there's a little section that says, as seen on TV, and it's got sentimental yours, one day special. You can find the stamps on there. Um, and um, obviously you can get them from Phil himself and Ho Chanda uh, in the one day special from six o'clock. Um, thank you very much for joining me, everybody. Uh, <laughs> I don't think Jay, I don't think Phil will be on for three hours. <laughs> 
<laughs> you, you know, no, he has to stop at 12 o'clock because there'd be a one day special hour at 12 o'clock on Friday. Um, but um, yeah, so um, anybody, anyway, have a lovely day, everybody. And uh, thank you for joining me. And um, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.